How old are you, mate? Uh, 15. And that's mum? Yeah. Okay, cool. Why aren't you vegan? Tell me. I've been raised to eat meat, so I just do. I never really thought about the moral aspect of it, if you would. Okay. If you could say it like that. Okay, would you like to, to know why I'm vegan? Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. cool. I'm vegan because I don't want to support the violation of the rights of animals who are also sentient. Yeah. So when I say sentient, I mean like having this experience that we're having where you feel consciousness. consciousness, a subject, so an individual having that conscious experience as well. Those things all matter to me morally. And the animals that are exploited and murdered for eggs, dairy, leather, entertainment, food, those are all sentient beings, yeah? Yes. For those reasons, I don't want to put into demand them living a life of hell and or being murdered for their bodies or what comes out of their bodies. I don't want to put that into demand, so I boycott that demand and, uh, and I live a vegan lifestyle. You're more of like on the ethical side. Which is what uh, veganism is. Okay. So what would you say to someone to try to convince them? Good question. That's a very good question, mate. Do you care about the experiences of other animals? I would say to some extent okay. because I feel like we should treat them like beings. The difference between us and them is that they're uh, sentient and we're sapient, I believe that's how you call it, where they can rationalize reality like we can. We can uh, think about our, what we are, who we are, and we can question that. And that's the difference between animals and humans. And that certain animals, so I wouldn't be so sure about like elephants and like gorillas and that. And I don't know if I can empirically claim that a pig, given enough time, a mirror would not start to have some trivial questioning of what they are, who they are, if they met a dog, if they had some robust experience. So I don't know if I can confidently say that, but I understand what you're saying. We have a much deeper yes, level of that. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I feel like it's not necessarily wrong to kill them. No, I, I'm, no offense, but like that's well, their consciousness. Not? We why value the human consciousness because it's much more deeper than an animal consciousness. And do you, do you believe in evolution? Yeah, I mean, I believe science is accurate, so... Essentially, what we are, if you believe in evolution, we're just stardust that evolved into higher intelligence because... Okay. I don't know how so to... My question to you would yes. be, based on evolution, at what point in the evolutionary chain would it be okay to kill humans? Neanderthal? When we are able to rationalize reality, like articulate reality... For so what Neanderthal's is. okay to mass kill and eat? Were they as... Aware as we were? Probably not, no. Probably about as much as like a chimpanzee or something, I don't know. Okay. I don't but know. At what point then? So we can go further back and we can get one of those little diagrams. Yes. At what point is it okay to kill a human down their evolutionary line for food? That's a good question. Well, for food. The reason we kill animals is not because we are doing it to survive, we're doing it for a food choice. Oh, okay. Like we've got plant foods, vegan burgers, vegan this, vegan that, vegan that. And people still want to kill the animals when we have choice. So at what point in the evolutionary chain of humans, at what know. point is it okay to mass kill that being for food? Just before they have this intelligent, this sapience, is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, so a little bit further down our evolutionary chain, it's okay to mass kill us for trivial reasons, like leisure, bacon. Well, this would be a hypothetical because what would kill us if we were at the top of the food chain? Because we're the most powerful being here. So I don't see what could So does that us. justify what we do no, no. for lesser beings? Okay. I don't think so. So why, why would you bring that up, sorry? Because when we're talking about ethics and we're talking about yes. rights, it doesn't matter who's more powerful, like what the powerful group no, is, or yeah. like obviously like Jews were, were the minority in, in Nazi Germany. I mean, it doesn't justify because Germans were the power group in that situation that might makes right there. It's not the same thing. I'm just saying like, but for us, we, yeah, we're the powerful group over the animals. It doesn't justify what we, we do to them for like bacon or like trivial products. I see what you mean. Okay. Think of like human beings and children. Like a baby's not even sapient. We can't just make a like a farm where we, we only grow babies to the point where they're just about to reach sapients. And then just before that point, kill them and burger them. <laughs> True? Yeah. Would you, be, would you be for that? No, absolutely okay. not. And why not? Because you said it's okay in the animal context. In the human context, you're completely against it, right? Yes, I mean, right now, I'm, I don't think I'm being intellectually honest. Okay. I, I think I might be tripping over what I believe in. So okay. I see where you're trying to get at, where you say, because we value the human consciousness uh, over the one of the animals, then it, it's it's almost the same thing because so basically myself. this is what I'm doing yes. I'm just trying to find consistency in your beliefs right 
You said it's sapience, I removed sapience from the human, like just create a little hypothetical to test whether it was sapience that you cared about. And yes. it actually isn't, it's something else. It's something else, I think. And I think maybe it's just because we're human. Yeah, and you might favor your own species more than other yeah, exactly. species. Exactly, I think that's part of evolution. Yeah, and I could favor, well, I don't do this because I'm not a racist, but people favor their own race over other races. And they might use that as a justification to harm other, a, another minority race. Yes. I'm saying, is that a moral justification for us because we favor our species to do this to other beings who have a conscious experience, not to the level of a human being, but to a level enough to suffer, feel pain, have desires, want to live? Would you say that animals have desires? Yeah, 100%. Like, they have desires within like, desires. Okay. Right, they have the desire, I'm going to wait here for my owner to bring in food at this time and then we're going to eat the food. They make decisions all the time. They pre-plan, they prepare. If you abuse an animal, they'll remember that. Yes. And they'll be afraid of humans. And, and same with farmed animals. They're, they're just like dogs, really. They develop their own personalities. Some are like shy, some are grumpy, some are tired. They all have their own unique personalities. We've been conditioned to be like dead as food, dead as robots, dead as meat robots. But that's actually just propaganda. It's not the case. They don't want you to believe that these animals' lives matter. Matter. Because otherwise it's harder for them to sell. I'm sounding pretty conspiratorial at the moment, eh? <laughs> they don't want you to believe. But you gotta know, remember this is a massive industry off the back of this. They're making money off their bodies, selling to people like yourself, your parents, things like this. It's an industry. They are just meat animals, they don't matter. So you don't feel uncomfortable with eating them. So they have, you asked me if they have desires. And then I got into the point of I, like, That yeah. was kind yeah. of a stupid question because yeah. they, obviously they have desires, but I would say uh, ambitions like we do, like we want to make a change in the world. We do want you to, yeah, I, I would like to make a change in the world. Okay, that's if good. If I can. Um, you can. I can, I can. Yeah. I can make a difference if. if so, I, so basically, but if there was a human being who was incapacitated because of the way they were born, they've been born not to the same privilege as us, somehow disabled, that person will never have the same ambitions as myself or That's as true, yes. Elon Musk, does that justify violating their rights? No, but... Okay, so that's I, what I'm looking for. Yeah, okay. I'm looking for a justification to violate these animals' rights. Why do you think we think that way? Why do we value the human conscious experience rather than the animal experience? We think we are superior, which we are in many ways, but then we use that superiority to in order to justify atrocities. I think there's multiple different factors here, right? When you're eating animals, you're much more likely to downgrade their experience in your mind. You lessen their, their experience and lessen their consciousness in your mind in order to justify eating them. Uh, they're dumb animals, chickens are dumb animals, they don't, they don't feel this. So, so it's like an unconscious like dumbing down of the animal in your mind so that it makes it easier to continue that behavior. And they've actually done research on this. They've done studies on this. Another thing is that there might be religious connotations to the reason why people inherently think that we're special, we're put here by God, we're made in God's image. These reasons that animals are here to serve us, we've got dominion over them, right? What would your argument be towards people who have a religion? What religion do you follow? Uh, Christianity, but I don't necessarily... Do you believe Jesus is God? Sure, yeah. The God that you follow in Christianity? Yes. Believes that eating meat is evil. I actually uh, believe you on that because in the beginning of when when the earth was created, we just ate Thank fruits you. and plants. Thank so you. The Garden of Eden, Eden was vegan. Yes. And when did we start eating animals? On the fall of man? When we, when started we started sinning. sinning. And then in heaven, we are only going to have a plant-based diet. So Genesis 1, 2, 9, and yes. then you got Isaiah 11. 11.6? I wouldn't know about that verse. Isaiah 11.6. And the wolf will dwell with the lamb, and the leopard will lay down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion, and the fatling together, and the little boy will lead them. Here's another version here. The wolf and the lamb shall graze together, the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and dust shall be the, the serpent's food. Thou shalt do no evil or harm in my holy mountain, says the Lord. Do no evil? Animals eating other animals is it evil? Yes. And the perfect paradise was vegan to begin with. And it was only till the fall of man. Now I'm just saying, being vegan is consistent with every religion. And it's the most compassionate choice. It causes the least amount of suffering, the least amount of rights violations. God created these animals to have a conscious experience, right? Yes. Whatever anyone says about religion and eating meat, right? There is no way that what we are doing now is anywhere close to God's creation. It's destroying God's creation. We've got factory farms. They've been selectively bred into freak shows. They're suffering just by nature of existing, right? And mass killed for people's trivial, just we have a bite, throw it in the bin, you know? This is nothing close to what 
anything close to godly, right? Yes. And, I would uh, agree. and anyway, God thinks eating meat is evil because he said there'll be no evil done on my mountain uh, when he was talking about animals eating each other. So. I see. All right. So are you, are, you a, are you actually a Christian or do you just have like some Christian beliefs or you're brought up in a Christian family or? No, I, I do. I, I wouldn't, I only came yeah. on to talk because I was just interested in to see the position of veganism. Okay. Uh, I, I, I don't want to like offend you or anything because I eat meat. I think we're just brought up like that. Yeah, so was I. So, I'm, I'm still learning, yeah. Oh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a bright lad, very, very bright, very intelligent and very kind. Very good hearted. Of course. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this conversation, my friend. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, absolutely. I hope you think more about it in the future. I and, will. Uh, I will definitely. Just remember, it. like, being vegan helps animals, and it's consistent with the religion, and it's. I think it's a good thing to do. So, thank you. Bless you, my friend. Take care. Thank you. See you later. Definitely. Thank you. Bye. See you later. Bye bye.